All right, everyone. Um, so after roughly an hour of technical issues and uh, just just a whole lot, um, we're finally uh, reattempting the bit of Soccer Wars where uh, I forgot to have the audio going uh, during the last stream. So we're going to speed through this, but we're going to enjoy it and uh, voice as much as we can. Um, yeah, I think it's just important that we have the audio going. It, it's pretty important, eh? Anyway, uh, thank y'all for being part of the community and supporting the YouTube channel as well. It means a lot. Let's, uh... uh I know which save I have to go to. It's the... before combat one here. This part's already voiced in Japanese, and we're gonna have the subtitles showing as well, so... Just enjoy. So, for this combat section, I'm going to do what I did originally and take Clarice and uh, Hatsuo. I very much like uh, Clarice's uh, long distance game. What I might even do, because Hatsuo plays very similar to Kamiyama, is um, I might bring Anastasia, even though I'm not familiar with her mechs. Uh, style, I think it'll be fine. It looks like she uses a gun of some type. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. And let me also grab the guide uh, stuff that we have sort of propped up. Just because uh, there's a whole lot uh, of ways that I can mess up in this game, and I don't have the best uh, instincts in this game sometimes. Hilariously awful. <laughs> You're choosing me? Are you positive? Should I ask Anastasia to the team? Or add? Ask. Alright then. I'll perform the best I can. You've chosen me? I'm ready then. Should I add Clarice to the team? Okay, I promise to put my heart into it. So, I, I will just change it in that one way. And I get to use Anastasia's mech, which I have not had a chance to do. In the second spot, Anastasia Palma. In the third spot, Clarissa Snowflake. Are you happy with these two? Yes. Alright, I'll go ahead and register the three of you. Captain Kamiyama. Great, thank you. It's time to head out, Kamiyama. And give your unit the order to deploy. Yes, ma'am. All three of us, including myself, are going out there together. Those of you with me, let's win this fight. The rest of you, wish us luck. Only three of us are heading out, but we're all in this fight together. You said it. We're not the player division without all six of us. Whether I'm fighting or providing backup, I won't hold back. We fight as one. That's the Flower Division's edge. Let's show them what kind of miracles a Tet Unit squad can work. Alright, it's time. And then this one is a big bonus if you have it all the way up, I think. Like, it's just cute energy here. I love it. I'm actually going to see how how much better I do now. This is my second run of this event. And, um... Yeah, this is going to be fun. I 
I uh, grabbed this game on sale. I mentioned this during every stream, I think, at this point, but I grabbed this game on sale and I was like, oh, yeah, this looks fun, right? Like a mech fighter, relatively decently reviewed, but really low price. I was like, what's going on with it? Really fun. I, I think the simple gameplay is just happy for me. Um, no complaints, genuinely. Like, there's some anime tropiness to it where I'm like, it's, it's hit or miss for me. But I think it's ultimately charming, and I think it does what it needs to do, so it's all good. Uh, that's the Shanghai Combat Review Team. And, uh, I mean, they're fun. They just, they're very competitive, and you can appreciate them for what they do. Ready to run through all this? Uh, we're basically fighting, uh, for now, we're just fighting enemies uh, in clusters as they spawn on the map. And then there's a part B of this event. Um, I like his energy. The layering on the eyebrow there was pretty funky, though. <laughs> Uh, this this game is one of those like it's a dopamine joy honestly like it's just it's it's one of those blissful experiences and I don't get that too often with games so like I'll take it you know let's see oh what it's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. I love that. Cause it's like really good, like very powerful distance game as well. <laughs> Like, the DPS is not bad. I, I, I'm into that. I'm honestly glad I get to rerun it because it's like, there's something cool in, in you know, trying new things. Because Clarissa's like, she has great AoE, but, um, it's one of those things where it's like, I guess it could be better, you know, and, and like, this character is kind of doing a bit of a better job with it. Getting those aerial kills is honestly very nice. And let's go over here. The gold guys haven't come out yet, those are gonna be fun. Ooh, there's a spinny. So the spinny attacks are great in this game too. I like the spinny attacks. And then aerial cannon, okay. Honestly, I need to use Anastasia more. This is great. Um, Cause that like that, that AOE defense is just solid. Oh, it's a bummer. I, I was trying to set up the Elgato just to have it do something, and I'm like, oh man, the, the Elgato is pain in the butt. Um, I need to see what's going on with the audio capture, because that's what I'm having issue with. Um, so if anyone knows, set some fixes. I'm trying to run it just to get audio capture from recording in either OBS or in, um, in Slabs. I, I saw that Slabs is recommended, right? And it's likewise not working after a couple things. I updated drivers. Um, that's crazy. That's the joys of, of streaming, you know. It's uh, uh the, the, the extra technical stuff I try to bring in, 
can just be a pain in the butt sometimes and have to like reduce how much stress there's around that. Also, it looks like I have a special. And here's Anastasia's special. God damn. <laughs> she is fantastic. I am happy. That is amazing. Let's go, round two. Let's run Clarissa a bit. This is fine. Uh, I like her. This is some of her AoE control. It's really useful, honestly. Like, uh, her attacks is just significantly powerful as far as, like, I would say DPS as well as AoE. The auto targeting in this game is honestly helpful as well because it just helps to make it where you don't have to really question too much what you're doing. Um, there's a little bit of, like, you can mindlessly sort of enjoy it. Which is nice. As he's Kamiyama Sama special on Big Boy. Like, his damage output isn't the best, but it's not bad. That like Kamiyama's, uh, like, double katana thing makes me just, like, I basically don't need to use another, like, physical damage character because it's just feels redundant, you know? Let's switch to Clarissa. So like her DPS and AoE combined is is a really good in that situation. Um, they're not great in like a like tight combat court quarters. Uh, I, I don't necessarily like the situation that put me in there, but it's fine. Uh, the character switching is pretty smooth. And again, if you see this game on sale and you like sort of like a nice simple combat loop with some visual novel elements, it's really fun. Um, Though definitely just note it, note if you don't like anime tropes, you're probably not going to like the way they approach the story. Um, and you're valid. Uh, <laughs> you're absolutely valid if you feel that way. I just want to give the heads up because I think that would be like a, a no-go for some people. Here we go. Um, and yeah, I'm so, temp so tempted to do the thing where it's like I'm pressing the wrong buttons, and I don't like that. And we're about to wrap this up, actually. Like, cause we're literally just about to clench this fight. Kamiyama has a special, so let's use a special on Gold cool Boy. I'm gonna bring the game audio down just in here. And that's it for Shanghai. Well, you'll see. You'll see. So they keep they keep saying like, oh, I have we have no idea how the Mugans are gonna win against everyone else, blah blah blah. 
And it's like, that was easy. Maybe if you increase the combat difficulty, it'll be like a lot harder or something, but it's, um, you know, it like there wasn't that much difficulty to it. Um, I, I don't know. I, I feel like it, they're just kind of like, like in the story's convenience, starting from a bad place, but then not actually being that bad. I mean, you can't have it that bad if you have mechs. Let's just face it, you know? And in general, too, it's like, it, it, it's fun to... I, and I, I think in the storytelling elements, I I like an under, underdog story. So, in that regard, I'm like, yeah, sure. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, so, here's something interesting, is I don't know what's going to happen next, but... My thinking is this guy is part of whatever else is going on with the demons in this world. Um, he's some sort of tie to the to the bad guys at least, and I'm interested to see where they go with it. He's like trying to weed out the other combat reviews that lose to whoever gains the most points in the first round, which I find concerning. But uh. Like, we'll see what pans out in the story. Uh, no spoilers in any comments, please. Yeah, this is... So, so okay. I like the Shanghai, um... The Shanghai, uh, mechs... Designs. They're like dragons. Multicolored dragons. It's cool. Uh, I guess ours is supposed to look shogun -y. Make sure that. Ooh, no, that that's bad. Okay, let's do. Let's use Anastasia. Her DPS is way stronger. And like, we should have a special in just a moment that could take one of these out. I think pretty quickly. Uh, Anastasia, I'm kind of glad I got to try out because I didn't really get to the first round. Come on. Nope, you don't get to heal. You just you just get to get hurt, Bubba. And and yeah, so the uh, apparently the the Tokyo team was so doing so bored so poorly that like the Shanghai team was covering the, the territory. Um So fair fair game, right? But you don't wanna like why would you get rid of mechs, right? Like the if, if you can afford it, keep them. They're dope. Pick up those pointer pointers. That's one down. Let's go. And actually, it's gonna be two down real quick. Woo! Sorry. Oh, sorry. I got too hyped there. Um. Literally, they just they're just like, hey, let's just all clustered together. Why not? It's a good call, right? And you hate to see it too, because they're actually really cool characters. Uh, I hope we get to spend more time with them and that they, um... Whatever happens in the story, I hope that we can bring back as many of the teams as possible. I don't see value in disbanding all the, the mech teams, you know? Wow. Shaoro. 
Poor thing. So I guess I'll test. I found a thing I need to look at. Um, I really feel bad for them. It's like I hope there's something in the story that makes them part of the whole system again. I think that would be nice. Um, and just Sakura being an absolute amazing character here. It's. It's heartwarming. It's genuinely super heartwarming. And uh, just for anyone wondering, we are using multiple guides. If there's anything I have to guess at, it's uh, usually unfortunate, because my guesses aren't great in this game. <laughs> I think it's an hour here at chapter four. That's the lips guide. So lips is what those um it's the, it's those events um how to call it the ones with the the level where you can bring it up or down and um it's it's weird basically sometimes they shift uh so if you go to max intensity um you can actually get different dialogue um and sometimes that doesn't happen like it's it's just it's kind of a mixed bag and I uh, I'm trying to figure out what's up <laughs> I didn't save this one okay. we can now save So the most recent save will be the one we keep using. Um, I forget what point we uh, we had switched things up, but it's okay. I don't mind. I think it was right before a combat event. Uh, we have a mix of cat ears and dog tails going, uh, so please enjoy. They are very funny. Well, it's cause for celebration. Be sure not to let it go, go to your heads. Our next opponent has already been announced. Alright then. Let's hear it. Who are we up against this time? The London Combat Review. They see themselves as a knightly order, taking up arms in the name of justice. So, London succeeded in the first round as well. They're the Knights of the Round Table, yeah? With the famous Lancelot leading the charge. Next to Berlin, they're one of the most promising contenders. They outclass us in almost every way. Everyone in this competition does. <laughs> that may be true, Azumi, but... Whoever we're up against, our only choice, our only choice is to win. Joints. Words are hard. Don't worry, we can do it. The moment we lose hope, that's it for us. So let's hold our heads high. Girl, your optimism's something else. Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> the wagging tails are all right. I just, I lose my shit. They're too funny. Um. Somehow hearing the words from Sakura is rather inspiring. And this is a confidence boost. How odd. If you think we can win, we most certainly will. We just have to believe in that. Thank you, everyone. 
We need to have faith in each other and in ourselves. With that, we can find a way forward, no matter what. You certainly have what it takes to defeat the London Combat Review. There's no doubt in my mind. Go, Kamiyama. Make us proud. Right. Let's go through these. I actually remember them, I believe. Hmm. You excited for battle? Or I think it's you're excited for battle. There we go. It's a thrill of a fight, isn't it? Yes, thrill. That must be it. I'm not scared or anything. That's the spirit. Let's show that London team what for. London comment review, eh? They seem pretty tough, but it is what it is. We're not making it to the top without facing them or those Berlin guys sooner or later. Ah, yeah. Any team moving forward in this competition has to be pretty strong. That's to say... We need to bring our A-game. We can't let our opponent's reputation intimidate us. We'll bring our A-game to this tournament and take the win. Attaboy, Captain. Nothing gets you down, huh? Thanks to you, I'm getting pumped up myself. Yeah! Let's do this, Captain. Yeah, give him the hell, Hatsuo. I know there's a... Oh, that reminds me. There's also a Hatsuo, um... Um... I need to look up the, uh, the, 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 the Sakura Wars, uh... Guide. Is that the trust events? Awesome. So they're called te 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 te, which um, I need to look it up just to be sure. But in Spanish, it's something like they. I think they call the uh, the, the pacifier te Um It's kind of interesting. And yeah, the Mugen are pretty dope. We just did great against a team no one thought we would beat. Okay, we're fine. Flower Jason has, has its own cutting edge. Uh, Sprickle Striker, the Mugen. I can't imagine... Spherical. Spherical Striker? I can't imagine theirs is any better. And we've got Raiji on our side. He's a pain in the ass, but you'll, you'll never find a better engineer. <laughs> you place a great trust in him, don't you? Their technical specs and individual skills alone aren't enough to bring us down. Think back to our battle with the Shanghai team. What do you think was the key to our victory? I'd have to say, it's our wonderful teamwork. Bingo. Together, we operate like a well-oiled machine. That's what'll give us the upper hand, no doubt. And sock to uh, Anastasia. Back in Europe, I once witnessed the London Combat Review in action firsthand. They were dauntless, courage incarnate, the sort of fearless knights who never backed down. Is that so? Not a problem. If that's the case, they may be less of a threat than I thought. Oh? How's that? They sound a little reckless. We should be able to lure them into a trap. Do you think that'll work? They may be bold, but they're not stupid. Well, that just means we have to find something they won't be able to resist. And then these are voice acted, so it's always kind of cool to, to hear these. あざみ is a funny character. I like her trope. Um, I can appreciate what she represents in the in the in the tropes at least, you know. She's like one of those funny
is she supposed to be sort of like Edward from a uh, from? Um, God, I was gonna say Ghost in the Shell, which obviously it's not. Um, Cowboy Bebop, uh, sort of like an Ace, or even if, if not Ace, just sort of like an like a like one of those funny kid characters or whatever. It's 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 pretty funny. So I thought she did have her own Mugen. Unless she had, um... Unless she was using the old Sakura's Mugen. I have to use the Sakura next round then, just to like, take, take that thing for a spin. <laughs> so the dog tails again are just freaking hilarious. Um, like Sakura's is like always wagging. Uh, Kamiyama's not so much. And Clarice's as well. So the characters with the dog tails tend to have that that going on, and it seems to react to their level of excitement too. It also gets in the way of the camera, which is. <laughs> I've just I've just been like losing it sometimes. It's really funny. All right, camera. I see what you're doing. <laughs> Hatsu is a great character too, and I think we we do have a, a, a trust event with with her. Um, in this chapter. Is there a... I've got another idea for Clarice. A crime thriller that starts with the protagonist being trapped in a closet. That's, um... There's a song about that. Kamiyama. I don't think they're gonna appreciate that. Uh, that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> Let's talk to... Uh, Clarice first. Like, I need to just pull up guides for all of this. I find her character to be my favorite so far. Um, I also like how sort of just sort of uh dreamy she is like she's just like sort of the nerdy bookish funny kind of character you know So I think this is in the, it'll be in the secondary events thing. And it's still broken down by chapter? Okay. Uh, I, should I leave? Let me know if y'all want guide the guides that I use for this too, just because... Well, I agree that... Um, how to describe it? I, I feel like like this is a great game to sort of do with just like a like a run without that stuff. It's also nice to not have to worry about it too. Like, let's see. Like that was just a cutscene too. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to her now. And you also can't pause in the middle of the conversation options. Um, so it, like it punishes you and makes it a no response thing where it's just like, oh shit, you know? Um, 
That's why I tend to withdraw out of my room when I want to read these days, as to not offend. Wait a second. Kamiyama, you didn't do anything funny to me when I wasn't paying attention, did you? Me? I, uh... <laughs> I covered your eyes. With my hands. But you didn't react at all. That's a lie. I would have noticed that. Nope, I swear, it's true. Hmm. Are you positive it was my eyes you were, you put your hands on? Crap, she sees right through me. That's literally what happened, though. Oh, um... And let's actually knock out the other Clarissa Snowflake event here. So we're gonna go down to the stage area. We're gonna find another notebook. A uh, new opponent for you, the Maiden of the... Oh yeah, so we can face Hatsho and Koi Koi. Death by Koi Koi. Just kidding. Uh, maybe not yet. I did notice there was one here before. Um, maybe that's random, though. Maybe in the next chapter. Let's do... Check in with Anastasia. And Sakura, actually, too. The cat ears are a nice touch. <laughs> I wonder if I could switch the dialogue to English. Okay, putting your hands out like that is pretty sus, Sakura. Don't do that. They did a decent job with the hair in this game, too, actually. Like, it's just a little detail I like to notice, and it, it's really well done. Goodness, I've known some enthusiastic people, but you just keep going and going. Sakura's funny. Um, is there a language option? Um, I don't think there is actually. And there's a vlog too, and that's nice. I I didn't mess with that too much. And I think I also wasn't close enough to Azami to get a certain event. Which is fine. I just, uh... Yeah, like, I hope I can kind of just get a decent ending in... Because I will replay this game. I just... Oh. I want to just sort of get the most out of it for the streams and, um... Just for just for anyone who, who sort of joins from the YouTube side of things too. Manju Maniac, a uh, ninja on the critical mission or target, uh, Mikazuki's Manju, or Manja. I detect suspicious presence, but first, Manja. Congrats on winning your first match. Thanks to you, business is booming. Wait, just from our victory. Remember all those Imperial Theater goodies I ordered by mistake? Sold out. Every last one. I was sure I'd be red this month, but heck, I'm raking it in. It's all thanks to you. I'm happy for you. Sounds like the Imperial Theater's getting a little more popular, huh? You can order twice as much stock this time. No, three times as much. Heck, why not ten? You sure that's a good idea? Of course it's a good idea. Gotta ride this wave while it lasts. Listen, you folks better beat that London team for the sake of my bottom line. Yeah, that's the plan. Don't need that extra pressure, though. 
Uh, let's see. Second floor is clear. Let's talk to her. I heard you won your first bout. Well fought, Kamiyama. Uh, thank you. We didn't intend to stop there, though. A fine sentiment. Only failure awaits those who lack determination. I love her. I think she. I, I wish she was a romanceable character because I, I really like her. Um, not only is she like more age appropriate for Kamiyama, I also find her intensity and her like. I find her design really smart. Um, so if I had to choose like a, fa a character I would prefer to romance, it would probably be her. Um, and she's also, yeah, again, like, it's just like she seems more age-appropriate and, like... God, that's just the look. That's such a badass look she has. And I can appreciate it. I love the detail on her clothes, too. Um, very western. Like, or like European, rather. Also, the white hair is nice. I, th I think the purple eyes is a nice touch, too. It's just... Just a lot of yay. Just a, a whole lot of yay. Um, I'm trying to find some cool stuff to watch in the background, too, so... Anyone has some recommendations for some good background noise? Do let me know. I'm actually going to put on some Black Mirror in the background. Because it's not going through my, uh, my audio capture. <laughs> I had striking vipers on recently. Uh, so, and yeah, anyone who's a fan of Black Mirror already knows. Uh, why is the pillar there? That's just <laughs> stupid, but I love it. Okay, let's do this walkthrough. Uh. Talk to Hatsuo in the courtyard, and then she's gonna want to do a trust event, I believe. <sighs> What's the matter, Hatsuo? Oh, it's my parents. They're trying to get me to come back home. Why is that? Is there something going on with the shrine? Nothing big. They just want me to lead to lend a hand. It's their dream for me to take over someday. Uh, I just can't ever quit the flower division so soon. Why don't they get it? But I don't even hate doing that stuff, you know? Cleaning the grounds, being a shrine maiden. There's something relaxing about it. My mind clears up. It's like all's right with the world. And I feel that. I, I like cleaning. There's a calming feel to that. That's how you know when your time comes. You'll fit right in. You think? Thanks. But don't worry, you won't get rid of me that easy. It's very real with you. I love the fly division. Before I move on, I got a lot to learn from you guys. Besides, someone's got to look after Sakura. If that girl ain't careful, she'll bounce through the roof. <laughs> I'll be rooting for you.
and then she's about to call me, I think. Uh, come, come ASAP. They've, there's been an incident in Ginza. Meet me outside the theater. And then, uh, talk to the gift shop person. Hey, Kamiyama, can I ask you a favor? What's up, Komachi? See, this is an opportunity. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. Your, win, your win's brought in a ton of customers, and we got all this pre-show hype. All I gotta do is slam a hot new item on the shelves, and they'll come running. Thing is, I'm out of ideas. Hmm. I see the problem. Laugh it up, Kamiyam, but I can't let this chance slip away. You, you help me come up with something, right? I've always got your back, Komachi. I'll see what I can do. You're a lifesaver. Let me know if you think of anything that might sell. Will do. I'll come back as soon as I get some inspiration. This game's really calming too. Um, I I like visual novels. There you are, Kamiyama. Or <laughs> there you are, Kamiyama. What's this about? The jewel star's been st stolen. The jewel's been stolen from the Gen Genrok something something. What? There was a robbery. Since you're captain of the Imperial Combat Review, I'd like your help capturing the culprit. Sure, I'll do what I can. And who's this lady? She was near the crime scene, so I had her come with to come with me to give an account of what happened. I see. Could you tell us what you saw, madam? Of course. I was getting my shopping done when someone ran into me. Then I heard s screaming to catch the thief, and... It was all too much for me. My heart can't take this kind of excitement. I see. So that must have been the thief trying to escape the scene. Can you tell us what they look like? I'm afraid I don't didn't get a proper look. It all happened in the blink of an eye. Uh Oh, it was so terrifying. Hmm. That description, we don't have much to work with. Don't go giving don't, don't go giving up just yet. We haven't even started investigating. Yui Yui, ask around here and see if anyone saw something. Oh, but make sure you keep this lady safe, too. We don't want the thief going after our eyewitness. Roger! Kamiyama, we'll head to, the, to Ginza Odori. Let's search from the top to bottom. Let's search it from top to bottom. Words. And let's go everywhere else first. I found a random bromide before, but it's... I think it's after one of the character events. And I think it's after one of the Clarice events, so it's fine. And worst case again, I'm gonna New Game Plus this and do like a full everything run. You were brilliant against Shanghai, I'm glad... Wait, no, that was a... You are brilliant against Shanghai, I'm glad you won. Is it? Thanks to your efforts, you'll be up against my team next. Get to crush Sakura in front of a crowd of thousands. Proving beyond all doubt that I am superior. Sorry to break it to you, but I don't plan on losing. Plan all you want. <laughs> when I go all out against you, something, something, something. Keep on dreaming. I've been training getting stronger every day. Right side, Judo? Lancelot's no better than me. Well. Sakura's no pushover. She at least, she's at least a match for you. Ha, <laughs> you heard him. Trust me, Lancelot, you're in for, sur you're in for a surprise when the time comes. 
huh? If you say so. Maybe she's learned a couple new tricks. You know what? Let's have a duel now. That'll sort this out. Right, Cherio. I thought you might suggest that, but we'll wait. We'll have to wait until the match. Don't you worry, Lancelot. I'll be there and I'll be ready for you. Glad to hear it. Alright, I can't stand it. I'm itching to battle you. Why do I have to wait so long? I'm suddenly not using an English accent. No! <laughs> That's the chaos in streams for me as well. It's just maintaining that. My body's making gurgle noises. And if it's capturing on the mic, I'm sorry. Let's talk to Arthur. How are you, Komiyama? Congratulations on your first victory. I looked rather hopeless for a moment, but you managed to turn the tables. I do love a good underdog story. Hey, we're not that hopeless, and we're going to take a London combat review down next. Ha! Confidence in spades, as befitting the captain of the combat review, of course. Though I confess I'm curious, how exactly do you imagine you can beat my team? Since you asked... We'll come at you with all we've got. Heh, <laughs> well said. A most commendable fighting spirit. Very well, consider your challenge duly accepted. Prepare for a lesson in the Knight's Code of Combat. And all the pain that's necessary. Or something like that, because it just kind of flew by. Bromide. Yes, yeah, so that was one that we found. Um, I'm glad we didn't miss that. I need to do a proper, like... Every bromide run to. Let's go to Tokyo Central Station. Oh, so no my Buser. So this is from the German team. I'm surprised you defeated the Shanghai team. According to my projections, your chances were quite low. When you say low, what kind of odds are we talking? Roughly 10%. An unexpected win by all accounts. Must have been a fluke. If you're curious what your chances of winning the next battle is, it's 2%. I expect Lancelot will crush you. Fighting back would be a waste of effort. Shouldn't you give up now? Out of the question. We're gonna fight with all we've got. The simple logic beyond you is pointless. Why do you insist on trying? We have something to protect. We're fighting to keep the Imperial Theater up and running. Still, it's not like I care enough to try stopping you. Do whatever you please. Huh. Well, see you in the finals, Margaret. Heh. You'll have to defeat the London team first. Do you like my little hat? <laughs> talk to he 
here to see today's performance. Pity you didn't make it earlier. They just finished the 470 Ronin. Such a gripping play. In one scene, the Ronin gather under a sakura tree for one last heart to heart. Really, it makes me think of the Spring Flower Festival. Sounds nice. Hmm, a flower festival? It's part of Japanese culture, isn't it? Oh, you didn't know? We picnic under cherry blossoms. People have picnics under the cherry blossoms. It's a lot of fun. It does sound quite lovely. I hope I can take part in that festival one day. It's a spring event, so you'll have to wait until next year. What a shame I missed it, but now I have one more thing to look forward to in the upcoming year. There's something quite dramatic with waiting for a specific season to come after all. <laughs> I mean, you shouldn't have to wait for a specific season to, uh, I mean, what? You know, I just saw a Kabuki performance called the 470 Ronin. Are you familiar, Captain? Ah, uh, at least I was, at least was telling me about it. Pretty famous show, I hear. Indeed, so you haven't seen it yourself yet, ha have you, Captain? Do you know that the titular 470 you know that the titular 470 Ronin all sought revenge to the Shogunate official, knowing it would mean their death? Sounds like a sizable cast. Wouldn't you lose track of who's who? Not at all. Each one's defined by a distinct, powerful personality. And the head vassal is the most striking of them all. I I'm mixing up my voices. I'm so sorry. He hardens his heart in the name of justice, hoping his dear master will forgive him when they meet in the afterlife. It's part of the big monologue in the finale. When he finally avenged his master, oh, what a gift to headline that show. Really love the play, huh? I can tell. There we go. Yes, it's not the best play. If not, uh, yes, if not the best play I've ever seen, it's an unquestionable close second. It's a masterclass in pacing and structure. You never know what happens next. And the characters are also charismatic. What a show. Can't wait to see it again. The 470 Ronin is a play of singular power. A play we can learn a lot from. Masterful portrayal of the characters at the top of the sheer numbers of dramatist personae. It's a play well worth seeing. Then it's a shame I haven't yet. Better get some time for it. Let me know when if you got the time, I'd like to go with you. Looks like it's not long until the next show. What new nuances will this performance reveal? I can hardly contain my excitement. <laughs> and if anyone's wondering which uh, Black Mirror episode I am watching in the background, it is the Ashley O one, or the Miley Cyrus one. Um, Pretty messed up one, honestly, but it's a really well made one too. Let's see. Um, can we talk to Kimono Lady here? No? Let's do the Clarice event first. Hey Clarice, looking for a new book to read? Yeah, I 
thought, my, I thought mythology might prove some inspiration for script writing, but I can't find any myth anthologies. Let's come this place together. We're bound to find something useful. If you don't mind, that'd be very helpful. Myths, huh? If that's what Cleese needs, I'm gonna get it for her. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, so basically, I'm trying to potentially romance Clarice. So, the trick is for this uh, lips event. You look all the way down. So I'm just keeping this, my, my left stick all the way down. I can't get that set out of my head, but I have to be strong. I promise Chris to, to find that book. So that's what I'm going to do. Phew, Clarice, I found it. Sorry it took so long. But no apologies necessary. If it, weren't, if it weren't for you, I'm sure I never would have tracked it down. It should prove plenty of inspiration for my next script. Much obliged. Anything to make you happy, Clarice. I'm glad I could do something for you. Kamiyama. It's kind of you to have offered your help at all, you know? And here's the baker lady. Hello, Kamiyama. Always a pleasure. Take a look. These special manja went on sale today. What's so special about them? They're bunny shaped with the cute little ears. See? <laughs> Honestly, they're so cute, I'd almost feel bad eating them. Yeah, that's the thing, is that they're too cute to eat. That is it. This might just be our hot new product decorated manja. Maybe Kamachi will like that. Hi, Kamiyama. Welcome. Today's big seller is uh, Mizu Yokan Jelly. Would you like some? Oh, jiggly goodness. Oh, look at that jiggly goodness. Looks delicious. Hey, the trick's getting the water to uh, agar ratio just right. So many attempts ended in failure, one after another. But after three years of trial and error, I finally mastered it. Three years, wow. Your passion for sweets is really inspiring, Hiromi. Thank you. Japanese sweets are worth the extra effort. I feel like we're at a very good place. <laughs> now we're just going to do a quick save. Uh, is there anything something at the theater. Let's go to the theater. That's the park. Let's go here. So we're gonna bring up the so the manja. You just want to basically mention the Mugen one. If you pick the wrong one at first, you're just you're gonna have another option, or it'll correct to the 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 the, the manja for um the Mugen. Picture this. Um. Mugen manjo. We could probably design it the round face part, right? Mugen Manja. Hey, I think you got it. Mugen Manja, an Imperial Theater exclusive. Now that's gonna be a big new craze. Glad it could help. Let's get the show on the road. We're gonna make millions, I tell ya. It's 
go to here. Since I ran this already too, we should have a less difficult time than initially. Um, should be fun. Well, let's get the investigation. Let's get investigating. There we go. Sure, just one question. You seem pretty used to this kind of thing. Do you always get this involved? What? Are you kidding? You make it sound like this is totally outside of our duties. Wake up, Kamiyama-sama. <laughs> Listen up. The combat reviews don't just exist to fight demons. Our job is to protect the city from whatever poses a threat. That's anything that harms the city or endangers the citizens. Com reviews deal with it and keep people safe. Wow, I get it now. Thanks. After a speech like that, I'm all pumped up. Good, that's what I like to see, Kamiyama. Got it. Let's get down to investigating. I have to change the character's voices up a bit more. I'm not like getting into character too much and I kind of want to do better performing in that regard. So I'm on the ground, let's see. A public and shock, Shanghai Com reviewed. Let's see. Let, let me add it, Kamiyama. I'll tear that rag into pieces and check into the trash where it belongs. The thing we need is over here. A hat. Looks surprisingly clean. Must have been dropped here recently. Um, let's talk to this man. Uh, a rope. That's from talking to him. Then. Starting with crystal sure looks pretty. Energy helps power the city. Just making sure. Some about clothes. Let's see. Uh, terribly vexing came this way. But da -da -da -da. Jewel got stolen. Wait, no one can go in or out. Means the thief might still be inside. Let's go. Maybe talk to him. I found all that I could. He's probably long gone by now. You got any ideas how they would have escaped? Yeah. The thief escaped with a rope. They used the newspaper as rope. <laughs> Instead of going for an exit, the thief uh, shimmed down a rope, hang from the rooftop, and escaped via the back alley. Does that make sense, Shalong? Yeah, sounds about right. That's what I was thinking, too. He's basically Sonic. It's fine. We should investigate the rooftop next. There's an amusement park uh, on Ginroku Department Store's rooftop. Let's move. Yeah. Gotta investigate fast. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Looks like the incident's hot gossip. Looks like the incident's hot gossip right now. Perfect. If people are willing to talk about what they saw, that works for us. Maybe someone around here saw the person climbing down the rope. Possible. I'll go ask around. Sure. Just keep in mind, we don't have all the time in the world for this. Yeah, I know. I'll make it quick. Let's talk to him. Uh, find Scarot. Uh -huh. So he's a waste of time. That's rough, buddy. Let's talk to them. Some of them into a nearly fell. Can you describe the stranger? Uh, they had a hat pulled down low. Run, didn't, hmm. Hat pulled down low on their face so no one could see. Blue hat. Um, uh, no some parmer sort. Did I say something wrong? Okay. Um, let's talk to him. Uh, darting through the crowd, so I should guess there's a thief. Which way do they go? Uh, they're short of lost in the crowd. Culprit's short. 
Um, talk to this guy. Let's see. Um, did see someone seem to seem to be in a terrible hurry? Sandals. Excuse me, an incident happened earlier at the. As seen or acted suspiciously. Let's see. Here we go. Uh, found all the stuff to question. Got them. Er, got them. Shaolong pass along your info. Round up the suspects. Good work out there, Kamiyama. One of them's got to be the culprit. Meet me in front of the theater so we can figure out which it is. So, um... This is going to be... I mean, I, if anyone has either played this game already, you already know then, or... You know... If you, if you haven't... Or if you have played, then you already know. And if you haven't... Um, I think this will probably be like... It's, it's unfortunately a bit of a cliche, but you'll see. Let's see. Uh, one of them definitely has to be the thief. Kamiyama, let's go over what we found through our investigation. That should tell us exactly who our culprit is. First, what was the thief wearing? Anyone mention that? A plain kimono. I see. Well, okay. Anything else they might have been wearing? think. A hat. They were wearing a hat at the time of the robbery, but they dropped it while running away. <laughs> okay, next. Anything about their footwear? Uh, they wore sandals. So it mentioned sandals, I think. their height. They were short. Great. Nice going, Kamiyama. I knew you'd the right guy for the job. You said any's clear as day. You know who it is, don't you? Let's go here. It was you. Hold on, Kamiyama. This lady's our witness. That's no, just a ruse. The old lady's a real criminal here. Excellent detective work, Kamiyama. Looks like I was right to pick you. You're the thief, aren't you? Fess up, Grandma. You're short, dressed in a plain kimono, and you're wearing sandals. You stole jewel and made the rooftop, concealing your identity with a hat pulled down over your face. You made it to the rooftop amusement park and climbed down a rope, escaping via back alley, dropping your hat. Our logic's flawless. Admit your crimes. There's no point trying to pretend. Hey now, what's that, Sonny? Don't go telling this wild jerks now or I'm liable to throw my back out laughing. <laughs> hey now. I'm dead, I'm dead serious. Dear boy, how could a lady my age have done it? I can hardly get out of my bed, never mind that acrobatic tomfoolery.
How is that? She's fast. For an old lady, she's pretty quick. We see through your disguise. You're sharper than I thought. I'm sure. I'm sure I was beyond suspicion. That's me. There's no way I'd let a sp despicable thief like you give us the slip. <laughs> no way I'd let your team disband. No way you'd let your team disband, huh? Look, what, look how well that turned out. You wouldn't know, but I made an oath that I'm never going to break. I sort of protect the city and, and its people to be its peacekeeper. Doesn't matter if I'm in a review. That was never just a job for me. It's my calling. Don't you get it now, you old lady? <laughs> Another case closed. Yeah, and all thanks to you and Xiao Long. Give yourself some credit. You did all the groundwork and stuff. <laughs> I appreciate the thought. Hey, Kamiyama. Makes you proud to be part of you, doesn't it? Sure does. It's a shame that review won't be around for too much longer, but that won't change who I am. No matter what happens, I consider myself a guardian of peace. My review, babe, my review may be officially disbanded, but something, something. So long, I've got it handed to you. Eh, I just don't. I just don't. I just do what seems right to me. I'm Xiao Long Yang, captain of the Shanghai Combat Review. I am sorry, I don't keep track of chat that easily. Uh, one second, just because I'm looking something up. Um. Say this, um. Yeah, I guess they use some more American actors in, um. What's it called? Um. In, in this, in some of these episodes, because, like, a lot of the stuff was in the UK, I guess, before. It's just funny. Cause I'm like, oh hey, like who's the? There's like the characters like playing the bass, and I was like, oh shit, okay, and and no one has a British accent. I should have noticed. My brain is silly. Man, what a day! It's it's about time I go back to room and get some shed eye. Why do you feel like I'm forgetting something, eh? Must be imagining things. Let's see, is there anywhere else to go? Can we talk like face to face? I'll be in my room. So this is actually something finesse uh, with, that requires some finesse. So let's go to the trust event guide. Hatsuo. If you examine, how, okay. <laughs> um, just so just so y'all can kind of see what I'm seeing here. <clears throat> if you examine Hatsuo's chest too much, you'll get a special sandwich towards the end of the trust event. Um. Let's see.
There was some... I think I'll figure it out since I did this one before. This should be voiced. Hey there, Captain. I got your text. Did something happen? Or did something happen? Not really. Meh. I shouldn't have bothered you. This isn't like her. What's going on? One moment, chat. Sorry. Uh, not chat. This isn't live. I'm holding a sneeze. The simplest way to find out is just, is to just ask. Earlier she mentioned that her parents wanted to take wanted her to take over the shrine. Could that be it? Do they want her back home already? No, Hatsuko. Hey no, Hatsuko, what's bugging you? Nothing, just forget it. You can talk to me, you know. I don't bite. I don't really know how to put it into words. Something's bothering me. Or, something's bothering her. What could it be? Are her parents serious about wanting her back at the shrine? Let me guess, your parents are serious about wanting you to come back home. If that was it, what would you do? I'd never let you go. I could never let you go. The flower division needs you. Damn, well, thanks. Gotta say it's nice to hear that. But don't worry. That's not what this is about. I was worried for a sec. Alright, I give up, Hatsuo. What's on your mind? I'm all ears. Let's see. Um, I, 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 know, I, I know we took down Shanghai. If I happened disappeared, you guys would be just fine without me. I bring nothing worthwhile to the table. Nothing. So that's it. She hasn't been feeling as confident as she normally does. Maybe I could try take talking to her about how talented she is. Oh, this at our shrine we use rope as our sashes. Why is it weird? No, I think it's perfect for you. After all, the rope that does is much tougher and stronger than typical cloth. Tough and strong, huh? Tough and strong like me? Well, that dense part's true too, I guess. Stop putting yourself down. You're reliable, passionate, and full of energy. The team wouldn't be the same without you. I don't know. Now to think about it, her hands are all scratched up. Uh, don't look, I don't have delicate angel hands like Sakura. I can't help it. I keep getting nicks and bruises when tinkering with stage props. Grants look strong and beautiful to me. There's nothing, to be, there's nothing to be shamed of, honestly. You should take pride of them as proof of your hard work. You're just pushing yourself for the sake of the theater. That's admirable, Hatsuo. The whole team thinks so. You're strangely quiet today. Why are you in Rukukiten with Hatsuo? It's not like every day's a party. I have feelings too, you know. What is it, my hairpin? Not something you see every day, huh? 
They're supposed to bring good fortune, you know. We sell them at the shrine. Oh, what kind of fortune? It just says they tie hair, they tie people's strings of fate together. Serpent's sort of talisman, it's pretty cool. <laughs> so you're saying you got your hair wrapped around your hairpin and me around your little finger. Uh, something like that. That's why I know. She always wears her heart on her sleeve. She's brutally honest and doesn't mince words. Look, I think there's no point beating around the bush. That hasn't changed. But she can't be blunt sometimes, too. Eh, you can be pretty blunt, but when it's coming from you, the people never seem to mind. So you don't mind? That's nice to hear. No matter how harsh, harsh they may come across, we all appreciate your honesty. Hmm. Let's see, something Hatsuo's got that nobody else does. You're selling yourself short. The truth is, you're irreplaceable, Hatsuo. You've got a special power a team can't live without. Special power like what? Stop talking out of your ass. Thanks for trying, but making stuff up out of pity isn't helping. I'm serious here. If you can't see it on your own, I've got no choice but to tell you. Make everybody smile. I've never bet a better I've never bet met a better mood maker. Come on. We can't just smile our way to the top. Hey, but it's a piece of the puzzle. If we don't smile, we lose our will to go on. It's invaluable. Your guiding light, staving off the doom and gloom. We'd otherwise be facing at the theater. Thanks, Captain. I guess that's worth something. Good, I think I'm making some progress. Hey, um, mind if I come closer? You're welcome to. Don't be shy. Right. Captain, tell me something. When you look at me, what do you see? I don't know what to say. Um... Uh, let's see. Nose? You know, now that I've gotten to see the side of you, I'm realizing how beautiful you really are. <laughs> Quit talking like that, like I'm some acquired taste. Have you know they call me the goddess of Sh Shinonome Shrine? I don't think I've got a fever, but my cheek feels like they're on fire. Cheeks feel like they're on fire. The hell? Hey, Captain, could you try touching them yourself? Um... Uh, your hand's so nice and cool. I can get used to this for some reason. It makes me kind of happy. Uh, eyes. Hey, what you staring at? Quit it, it's weird. Seems a little off, but she seems like she's in better spirits. Hey, Atto, how are you feeling? Still having any self-doubts? No, I'm alright. Your reassurances your reassur yeah. your reassurance and your reassurances helped a ton. I guess I just wanted to feel close to you for a bit, that's all. Um Yeah, 
Her hair is really beautiful. You have such beautiful hair, I can't get over how gorgeous it looks on you. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, so can I try touching your hair? It looks so soft. Go ahead, knock yourself out. She has like a Kitsune vibe too, like the, the, the fox spirit. <laughs> it feels nice actually, it's relaxing, but somehow making my heart race at the same time. I miss your laugh, Hatsuo. Sorry, I don't laugh on command, I'm not exactly in the mood, just give me some time, okay? She looks like she wants to say something. What's this warm, fuzzy feeling in my chest? I've never felt like this before. Captain, you're the best, honestly. Yeah, I was sitting here feeling sorry for myself till you stepped in and turned my everything around. And turned everything around. You seem to have a pretty good handle on stuff, so answer me this. What kind of person am I? The way I see it, you're... Just Hatsuo. You're just you, the one and only Hatsuo. Sometimes I do wish I could be someone other than myself, but that's silly, huh? I said to pick the negative one. I was supposed to go for shouted in your ears. Gotcha. See you later, Captain. That's a problem. Captain, are you still there? I want to say thanks for today. I'm not proud of how I acted, but just do me a favor and forget about it, okay? Tomorrow I'll be strong, dependable, hot so you know and love. Ready to kick some ass. It's a promise, alright? See ya. Proud of her. Um, bromide. It's a bromide. That's calling. That went well. Um, slight fuck up, but nothing, nothing bad. Let's save there. Because so far we're doing okay. Team status. A lot of characters, goddamn. Soccer is feeling us the most. Then everyone else is kind of like making their way up. 
Uh, poor girl. <laughs> um, let's keep going. Resume game. Here we go. <laughs> um, so let's continue on. We're getting through this a little quicker than we did on stream. I think stream takes a little longer. Here we go. Uh, good morning, Kamiyama. Good morning, Clarice. Good morning, Kamiyama. Yo, rise and shine, Captain. You ready to tackle the day? I always am. Good morning, everyone. Oh, Kamiyama, best of luck today. Ma'am. Morning, Captain. Morning, Anastasia. Azami's not here. I haven't seen her around. She's not in the ceiling. Can't hear anything. Is she asleep? No. Probably just not in there. I'll ask if anyone's seen Azumi lately, just to be sure. Kamiyama. Do you have a moment, Kaoru? Oh, it's you. By all means, come in. Let's go. Um, so we fix this by admitting that the thing the guy wants is prawn. Kamiyama, good to see you. I was just thinking I could use your help. Sure, what is it? Raji just put in a quest to order a magazine for the archives titled Steamy Paradise, I see. Well, that's definitely a nudie magazine. Raji knows no shame. I don't recognize the name. Would you happen to be familiar? Um, Steamy Paradise? I guarantee you that's prawn. I can I guarantee you that's prawn. I can't believe Reggie would seriously ask you to get that for him. I suspected as much. The publisher's description paints quite a picture. What's it say? 
A treasure trove of special interest photography for the discerning gentleman. Take a peek into paradise. She knew all along. If she was testing me, I dodged a bullet. I knew I could trust you, Captain. Much appreciated. Now I think it's about time I had a word with Raiji. Oh, I should have shouldn't feel guilty. I hope you survive Kyo's wrath, Raiji. A whole lot going on. Uh, let's go pick up the notebook. What is this here? Looks like a notebook. A fallen angel and a devil. That's a foreboding title. Let's take a look inside. Pure slumber beckons. My wanting heart and offering unto death. If I must beseech the devil and make a new enemy of God. And make an enemy of God. If truth's love be within the virtuous devil's power, then bear me hence from a world absent to you. My, palan my palanquin is... My palanquin is Hades bound. And here's the author's signature. Looks like Clarissa. That explains it. And let's ask Sakura if she has seen Azumi. <laughs> oh, grass, oh, window light. Of life is summer. The season's fairy has come, bearing colored music now. Hear my song. Her tail is, lo is going nuts. I love it. Wolfie Sakura, listen, and I'll show you another take on it. Um. This is secondary events. I need the main event stuff. Um, oh grass, oh wind, oh light Oh life of summer, the season's fairy So it's like a slower vibe See my point? Now try again I think I get it But isn't the whole point To put power and emotion into it? Emotion, yes, but a calculated dose of it you're putting too much weight on all your lines. You're a sword fighter, so consider this. It's only at the moment of impact that you put your full strength into a blow. It's the same with acting. You have to temper and measure emotional delivery, so the impact will reach the audience. I see. I've never seen it like sword fighting. I get it now. Thanks. Oh, grass. Oh, window light. Oh, life of summer. The season's fairy has come. Bearing color and music now. Hear my song. What? Nani? Um, did I mess it up? Oh, quite the opposite. That was pretty decent. You get a passing grade. Really? Oh gosh, I'm so happy. You're an amazing teacher, Anastasia. I wonder whether I'm or not. That's quite an improvement after a single piece of advice. Mm. 
that you did well for a beginner, good work, but don't let this get to your head. Of course I won't, and thank you again for pointing me in the right direction. It's gonna suck for progress, but I've seen enough. Sakura's hidden potential is finally starting to shine under Anastasia's guidance. Sakura's made great strides. She couldn't have done it without you. No, she's getting better. It's thanks to her own effort and persistence. I'm not the one you should be thanking. She deserves to have her hard work recognized. But even though she's quick on the uptake, she wouldn't have progressed this fast without your guidance. You think so? It'd be nice if that were true, I suppose. By the way, I've been wondering, you haven't seen Ozmi run recently, have you? Ozmi? No, at least, not today. Really, haven't seen her today either. And look at you all worried about her. Why do you care so much? What do you mean? She's a member of the Flyer Division. Why shouldn't I be? Hey, you're a sweetheart, Captain. Almost makes you want to run off to see if you'd uh, come looking. Anastasia, I'm being serious here. So, again, if, if people have not seen this episode of Black Mirror, it's actually really, really cool. The ending is just awesome. I guess it shows, like, kind of control that the pop industry sort of puts on people. It's cool to see it just sort of, like, make some commentary on things that are actual as opposed to just the sci-fi elements. Is, did this suddenly become a uh, Black Mirror podcast? Maybe. Kind of, sort of. I don't have that much to say Black Mirror, about Black Mirror, because it's like... It's, um... I wouldn't say obvious. Um, it's just one of those things where I'm like, hey, you know, it's, it's it can be very on the nose sometimes, but it's a good thing. Oh, we'll get the new uh, Hatsuo... Uh, bromide. Hey, Itsuki. Have you seen Azumi today? Nope. Ninja's holding, hiding too well, huh? Do you need her? Yeah, sort of. Nothing huge, though. Hmm. You didn't do something to make her avoid you, did you? Me? Never. I'm a decent guy. Really, now? Usher Crush, you might think you're decent, but you really don't get women. Itsuki, you think that poorly of me. Let's talk to her again. Look at this, Itsuki. I've got a brand new bromide with your name on it. Oh, let me see, Usher Crusher. Don't tell me it's another rare one. Why don't you see for yourself? Hmm. You're pretty I stand, you know. It's not if it's not that rare, I'm gonna I'm gonna be very very Whoa! The triumphant Imperial Combat Review. Someone pinch me. Wow. Young Samir was such a head head turner. And Sakura Sh Sh Shinguji. Look at that grace and that style. I am so beyond pumped. Uh, that's a reaction I was hoping for. That's kind of weird realizing one of them is my manager now. Right? I know exactly what you mean. You look up to someone forever, and when you actually meet them, it's just, hmm. And now, ah, the more I look at this bromide, the more I realize how unique and special it is. 
Listen, Usher Crush, you find any more amazing ones like this, you have to show them to me. Uh, let's see who's on the second floor. Okay, so uh, Striking Vipers is on right now. If you've not seen Striking Vipers, be sure to watch it. It is something. Um... I don't even want to spoil it. It's just, please watch it if you're able to handle like VR ideas and sort of like the extent of that to which VR might go to. Found the surround, the palace, the found the surround of the place. It's yours, I take it. Here you go. Um, Let's see the secret notebook. Um, it's quite a unique style. Your hair is quite a unique style. I was impressed. I just wasn't sure what to make of that whole part about a wanting heart being an offering unto death. Please stop, you needn't quote it at all. <laughs> Oh, and that virtuous devil part. I couldn't tell if you're going for something. I could tell you're going for something, but I'd like to hear you explain it. <laughs> Please, I'm begging you enough. It's really nothing notable. It's just writing down whatever ideas came to mind. It's a very, very rough draft of the script. It's not something we're showing to anyone else. That's a privilege, then. Not every day you get to witness an author struggle with the script in the making. Not another word about it, or I'm going to be very, very angry. Am I clear? Okay, I get it. I'm sorry. It's gone from my mind. No more fallen angels or devils or hearts or anything, I promise. Clears, have you seen Azumi? Uh, no, as it happens, nobody's come here today, apart from you, of course. Okay. You're worried about her being gone again? She tends to disappear sometimes, you know. And after all, she is a ninja, with all sorts of secret missions to attend to, I don't doubt. Ha. Uh, so you think she's off fighting evil somewhere? Sounds pretty heroic. Hey, yeah, quite right. A grand story of ninja of justice thwarting evil. Yeah, though, I hope it's nothing that serious. Let's, um... Let's see. Let's see. Um, let's talk to Hatsuo. Is there anyone in town to talk to? No? Oh, hi. Yes, who is it? It's Kamiyama. May I come in? Oh, hey. Come on in, Captain. Hello there. Hi, hope I'm not interrupting. <laughs> Damn right. Can't just crash a girls only meeting. How's feeling left out? You know where I can find Azumi? I'm getting worried. She never turned up yesterday either. This is gonna be mean stuff. Uh, let's see. Yeah, me neither. I wouldn't get all worked up about it, though. You know how she is. She's a ninja. Got to vanish once in a while and do all her ninja stuff. Er, if 
you say so. Seriously, relax. You stress out over every little thing. You give yourself an ulcer. Anyhow, I ought to go. Got some stuff to take care of myself. If I see Azumi, she'll get an earful for me for getting you worried. That How's that? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, see ya. That's what's right. I'm sure Azumi's okay. She can take care of herself. She wanders off sometimes, but she's always back before you know it. Really? Then, yeah. I guess I'm overreacting. She's definitely fine. Gotta go now, too, but see you later. Someone's shady hanging around. Can you drop by, Kamiyama? They're in the lobby. Let's go here. Also, I think there might be a bromide upstairs real quick. Actually, let's see. Haha, <laughs> there we go. So, this is a side event. Uh, it's Sakura's Bath. We're not gonna obviously go in. We're just gonna make sure it's the... Like, we're still just gonna do the decent thing just to do the engagement with the content. Because why not? You also get to hear the silly music. Huh? What's that noise? Maybe someone's in the bathroom. There's no one here. Guess it was my imagination. Just probably for the best. Walking in on someone without knocking might have been gotten me killed. Huh? Who's talking in there? I can't believe it's finally happening. Hee <laughs> hee. I'll become a great actress like her and help the Imperial Theater reach new heights. I'll match Anastasia's talent eventually. I wish I could just match that figure. Or I just wish I could match that figure. They say getting someone to massage them helps them get bigger, but maybe it's worth a try? Did you hear that right? Massage what exactly? Oh. I'd better go now. I can't betray Sakura's trust. I'll just walk away and pretend I heard nothing, no matter how difficult that is. And let's talk to the store. That should get us to at least the next story thing. Hey, Atsuo, good to see you in high, high spirits again. Of course. Can't sulk forever, right? That's just not me. So, look, I appreciate you trying to cheer me up when I was out of it, but uh, let's keep it between us, okay? Sure. Yeah, sure. It'll be our little secret. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> um, That was a good one, okay. Where is the next event? <laughs> Let's uh save. I can save the, the recording now, and it's a little shorter than the VOD. Um, GG. So next soccer thing will be with live stream stuff and without fucking up, I think. So, thank you everyone. Thanks for checking out this video. Thanks for uh, subbing if you subbed and just, you know, you're appreciated. Take care of yourselves and uh, catch y'all soon.
Bye.